Ever since I was five years old, I wanted to be a teacher and a writer. So you were a force to be reckoned with, even that. I can see that penmanship was not your strong suit. I was six. How many publishers did you contact? Two. <laughs> Are you creating memories with your mother? Hmm? <laughs> I would be more than happy to read your book and give you my thoughts. I appreciate it. I do. And I will think about it. Okay. I'll meet you inside. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Elizabeth? Hello? Hi. What's that you've got there? Here. Okay. I'll get right on it. And be honest. I would never be anything but honest with you. I, I, I mean it, though. I don't want you to feel like you have to spare my feelings or anything. Got it. He's enjoying something, but I'm not sure if it's my book or your coffee. And don't forget to read at least 20 pages tonight. I read 220 pages. You get an A for effort. <laughs> Thank you. Lucas, what is this all about? Have a little patience. I think your stories and your characters are wonderful. Really? The school teacher, Elsa, she's strong. She's got to stand up for what's right. For what's right or what makes you the most money? Feisty. I'm assuming we're talking about Allie. Unless you've opened up a gambling school for minors. A lot like you. She's a character, though. She isn't me. Lucas, they are breathtaking. I was going for spectacular, but breathtaking will do just fine. Hello. Elizabeth. Hi. Your stories are good, but they could be great. I was just, um, excuse me. So, what did you do now? I offered her some free advice. My mother always used to tell me that the best writing comes right from the heart. Thank you. You want some free advice? What's that? Don't offer free advice. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for sticking my nose where it didn't belong. I'm really glad that you did. You, you are? Sound inspired. I am. I am. You were right. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you again for your help. Uh, it's all you. So how's the writing coming along? already written a few chapters. <laughs> well, you work fast. <laughs> Any plans for your time off school? Just spending the whole time with my son. Reading and playing and cuddling. A lot of cuddling. That sounds wonderful. Sooner or later, you're going to have to show somebody. Unless you want to keep it hidden in your desk drawer forever. But I haven't read your work before. All right. I see you're reading. You have quite the way with words. So you're enjoying the chapters? I am. <laughs> I'm especially intrigued by this new character, Luther Brandt. Oh? The handsome, charming restaurateur. With a penchant for cards and travel. Pick a card. I'm rooting for him. Well, that is what you want as a writer. Who was your inspiration for that character? Well, there's nothing quite like unconditional love. You deserve nothing less. I should get ready. Oh, I just made him up. Really? You didn't think that you... No, 
No. No, of course not. <laughs> well, I suggest you keep reading. What are you looking for? Humble pie. You finished reading the chapters. I did. What, what exactly are you planning? Ah, that would ruin the surprise. Little magic trick. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. A man of many talents. Indeed. And who doesn't love a good surprise? <laughs> I know I do. You know, I couldn't help but notice you seem to spend a lot of time with Nathan. I was going to say Lucas. Oh. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just enjoy them. You deserve it. Your heart is open again, isn't it? Love certainly is special. Sound like a hopeless romantic. <laughs> More like a hopeful one. Here. So I will just see you at the at at the wedding. Yes. You will. Would you be my guest? What are your thoughts on Virginia Woolf? Her writing is visionary. Well, no, I meant... I know what you meant. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> right. Elizabeth, answer the door. Lucas. Elizabeth, if you don't want to go... Yes. I... Yes? I would love to go with you to the reading. Hi. Hi. But. But? Well, you look happy. But if you were in any way thinking that this might be, uh... Be, uh... A date. Then I'm sorry. I just... I can't. Elizabeth, it would be my pleasure to escort you in. Whatever way makes you feel comfortable. And I can't wait. Lucas invited me to see a famous author in Union City tomorrow night. We're going strictly as friends. I have reservations under Bouchard. Welcome, Mr. Bouchard. Mrs. Bouchard? Oh, oh no, no. This no, is I'm Mrs. Not. Thornton, shall we? An honest mistake. To be honest, I haven't gotten that far. Oh. Well, how far did you get? Actually, I have only read the first chapter, last night. Oh! <laughs> I take it you're a bigger fan of her short stories, then. No. Thank you for a lovely weekend. <laughs> so you bought the tickets just because... Lucas, you paid for the tickets, the dinner, and the hotel rooms. The very least I can do is bake you some cookies. Good boy. That's a good boy. Thank you so much. Shall we? <laughs> so, you plan to be patient? I actually have something for you, too. Lucas. I have always had faith that I would know the perfect woman for me when I met her. I will wait as long as I have to, to win her heart. You got Virginia Woolf's autograph? I came to say yes. Yes. To the publisher. Is this what took you so long when you were getting snacks at the reading? Guilty. <laughs> Of course, yes!
This is such a good idea. You are not going to regret this. <laughs> You'll see. I'm getting paid to write. I can't believe it. I can, because I've read your work. Can you meet me tonight in the library? Well, I have you to thank for that. Oh, did I write those chapters? <laughs> thank you for meeting me. You're welcome. You encouraged me, and for that, I will forever be grateful. Now, I know that this is not a date. Elizabeth! Get out here. However, if this were a date, I would take your jacket. Mm -hmm. Now. Thank you. And I might even gently brush your hand as I pass you your glass. days for longer than normal. Oh. Well, they certainly seem happy. <laughs> love does that. Well, love might be in the air for more people than just Jesse and Clara.